Welcome to 2024 and what's going to be another amazing year of van life adventures for Lavinia and I. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Joshua Wikes and I'm an adventure and landscape photographer. And my wife Lavinia and our dog Tilly are living full time in our converted sprinter van, traveling all over the US and Canada, just exploring as much as we get to see. Our van was actually outfitted by a company called Outside Van up in Portland, Oregon. And we just continue to love every minute of this lifestyle. You know, one of the objectives of our adventures is actually to visit national parks. And in this week's episode, we're actually gonna be visiting two national parks. So here's a crazy thing though. We just recently crossed over eight months of van life and you know, we just continue to love every minute of it. It's actually been about a month though, since I put out a video, you know, I try to put out a video every single week, just kind of showcasing and highlighting what we're getting up to. But I took about a month's break kind of over the holiday period. We still managed to get up to quite a bit over that month's time, but it was just a nice time to spend time with family and resting and relaxing. But we're back on the road now. And in this week's adventure, we're gonna be hitting Tennessee, Arkansas, and Kentucky, and getting up to some pretty fun adventures, including Graceland in Memphis to go hang out with the king. So let's go see another slice of God's beautiful creation. Let's get going. Well, before I show you a little bit of what we got up to at Graceland, I just want to say that, you know, I'm not the biggest Elvis fan. Uh, obviously, I've enjoyed his music. It's obviously a part of our society and our culture and, and really just our history. I want to just say, though, this experience of visiting Graceland, it affected me more than I was expecting. It actually has left a bit of an emotional impact on my heart. It was just so fascinating just to walk through his home to walk through the museum and just learn a lot more about his life and just to be there, to see it, to experience it. So definitely one of the highlights for us. We're gonna be remembering that visit for quite some time. If you find yourself in the Memphis area, even, even if you're just the littlest of Elvis fan, I would definitely recommend checking out Graceland. Let me dream that you might again for just one day. So let my blue heart pretend I'm just a fool And I can't get over you So let me dream If my dreams can come true I know you remember what we used to have You wanna throw that all away how it makes me feel so sad Won't you let me dream Oh, what else can I do Won't you let me dream If my dreams can come true I know you remember what we used to have You want to throw that all away How it makes me feel so sad Won't you let me dream What else can I do? After Memphis, we drove into Arkansas to visit Hot Springs, the home of the Hot Springs National Park. Here's a bit of trivia for you. Hot Springs National Park was the first land in the U.S. that was actually set aside for use as an area of recreation. It has been a national park for a very long time. The national park mainly consists of old bathhouses and a handful of hiking trails, which we try to explore. This is probably one of the most urban national parks we have been to. We still had a great time exploring, but to be honest, you probably don't need much more than a day to check this park out. Forever close to the unknown There's no doubt, you know we're Happy before we get it It's another day to do it all again Oh! Falling open all the curtains wide To you in this life, but it's never us to do. 
We then headed back to Tennessee to spend a few days in Nashville. This is such a fun town and we can see why it has become such a popular destination. Our final stop on this adventure took us up into Kentucky where we visited Mammoth Cave National Park. Mammoth Cave is the longest known cave system in the world. The discovered and explored sections of this cave stretches over 400 miles and they are still discovering new sections of the cave every year. The National Park Service offers numerous tours to explore and learn about the cave. We elected to take two different tours on the same day. We did the historic tour in the morning and the domes and dripstones tour in the afternoon. These are the two most popular tours offered and we would highly recommend them both. We had such a great time. Still in the moonlight is something sweet. Let it wash over all of me. With you, I fall in my company. Forever close to the unknown. Well, that's it for this week's adventures. You know, we are so excited for this year ahead and just all the adventures that we have in front of us. We're planning to do this lifestyle for another eight months or so of living in this van, exploring getting up to a lot of fun stuff. And I'm just really excited to continue to show you what we're getting up to each and every week. I'll just leave you with this question. What adventures do you have for 2024? What are you gonna get up to this year? Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what some of the fun things you're getting up to and maybe we'll cross paths somewhere along the way. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you on the road next time and may God bless you. Oh, oh.